What's up my sugies? Ashley here and in today's video we are going through a home goods Marshalls and TJ Maxx haul. I have found so many good items in store and online that I'm so excited to share with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing this video then just keep watching. <laughs> starting off strong with the home goods pillows this one I actually took the cover and stuffed it with an old one because it did not have the choppable insert and you know I love a good choppable pillow but I may have shared this before but I have gotten so many new pillows I'm not sure which ones I haven't haven't shown you but I love this colorway it is a very neutral beige and black color and it is perfect for an office it's perfect for an individual chair like this in the corner with the mirror and it would be perfect for a couch I just really love the size I think it was only 24 bucks so if you find pillows at home goods don't forget you can just take out the insert and put in your own I also wanted to show you this updated space in the bedroom. I do still need a picture behind this, but I wanted to share and show you how versatile this piece is from World Market. If you remember, I was using it for a desk in an office and I decided that, you know what, this would be the perfect place because I made that into a playroom to utilize it for the time being as a console table in the master bedroom. I'm going to put a picture behind here, but it houses everything perfectly. I loved the fluted wood detail. I put some old Sherpa stools at the bottom and then was able to utilize this from a different room and put it in here. This from last year from Target and then some books. I also did find this at Home Goods recently and I'm obsessed with it. I think it is the perfect little a multifunctional piece that is going to go with so many different home decor styles. It is marble. It was a little bit extensive, I think 49 bucks, but the size is amazing. It's really large and I love the fluted like detail. I also love the veining in it and I did only find one. So definitely check all of the spaces in home goods for items like this because I think this is a classic I can keep forever. You could use it by a front door to put your keys and wallets. You could put perfumes in here. So many different ideas, but I love this and I think it just kind of completes this little space. Also completely unrelated, but <laughs> super fun. This croissant blanket, I have been on the hunt for this literally forever. I saw one of my TJ Maxx finds friends on Instagram post about it and I was in love with it. It is so cute. It is the same barefoot dreams type uh, blanket. I believe it's cupcakes and cashmere that they always have at TJ Maxx, Marshalls and Home Goods. But this one has little baby croissants. I mean, how cute is that? So my collection is overflowing at this point, but you know what? I just love them all and they're so fun. I use them to either use with a baby, enjoy on the couch, use them to store and use for guests. I have some that I like to cover the couch with when we're lounging around. They're just so multi-functional that I don't mind having them and they're so affordable that if they do get ruined for whatever reason, it's not the end of the world. So I would definitely suggest checking out the pillows and the blankets because these are so fun. And if you have kids, I mean, who would not love a little croissant blanket? I also know that currently, I also know currently Target has the um, croissant and pretzel little pillows. So if you have someone you know that loves croissants, this would definitely be a good gift. Also wanted to share these super cute acrylic boxes that I feel like could be used for so many different things. I'm going to use these in the playroom. So I'm going to put different you know, pencils, markers, toys, whatever in them. These could be used on your vanity for your makeup. These could be used in an office. I love that they come with the little grips on the bottom and they're $14.99 and they are divided in four with the handle on the top. So perfect for carrying these from room to room or perfect for putting so many different items and having them all divided up into a total of eight categories. I love anything acrylic. I feel like it just looks really clean and simplistic without looking cheap in a space, especially the office or a playroom. So really, really good idea to store things in. Don't forget to check out the office section at your local home goods. I also wanted to talk about these amazing stems that I found on Amazon. I was really wanting to replace the ones that I had 
and get something a little bit more full. I end up moving stuff around my house so much that I needed something else. And I looked at A Floral because I love their items, but they're so expensive. So I did a deep dive into some Amazon stems and took a huge leap on these. And I am so pleased with them. The dimension of color variated throughout them is amazing. They're super bendable. They're very tall and you can make them as stiff as you want, or you can make them super flowy and bouncy. I think they are the perfect stem for literally any season. You could bring these into fall. You could use these for spring and summer and they were very, very affordable. I ended up getting two boxes because I figured one wouldn't be enough and two is super full and super lush and I absolutely love it. So I will link those below for you because these are definitely a must for the summer season. I also wanted to share the most beautiful, dainty, gorgeous, fluted wine glasses you have ever seen. I have seen so many of these in store in a ton of different colors, patterns, but this one is my favorite. It's just a clear, no iridescence on it. They did have some with like an iridescent um, color on them and they are fluted. They're so beautiful and they're the perfect size. They're not too small and they're not too oversized. I really don't drink that much, but when I do, you know, I love a good cocktail glass. So I did get a set of eight and they do come in a set of four. And I believe, I know this sounds weird, but I, I want to say they're like a cupcakes and cashmere. Do they make Am I crazy for thinking that? I still don't have the box um, I threw away, but I I feel like these are. Anyways, they're very thick. I feel like they're not going to easily break because that's another thing. I didn't want anything too thin, but I know you guys have probably seen them if you've been um, throughout the stores lately, but they're so cute. And again, I feel like they'll work for summer or winter. Um, I do try to get things that are staples that are gonna be good year round. I have a couple of things that I switch out for summer and the holidays, but this is just a classic that I feel like I'll never get sick of. And just for all intents and purposes, since we're talking about glasses, I don't have the straw on this, but this is the super popular one from Walmart. And I just want to say, if you are a nice coffee girl or you like to have a good drink around the house, working from home, just at night, whatever the case may be, I love these. They are so thick and heavy. Definitely not something that you could use with children. However, if you're by yourself, they're super cute. They do come with the glass straw and I think they were like four or five bucks. I did go ahead and grab four of them and I absolutely love them. They are so beautiful. I think fluted glass is one of the most classic, timeless, luxurious looks you can have in the kitchen. And then of course in the sunlight, this is so pretty because it has just got so many different cuts in it. I cannot believe this is from Walmart and it is by the brand uh, Better Homes and Garden. I don't think, yeah, the sticker is washed off. Oh my gosh. And as you can see, I guess it is pretty durable because that somehow did not break. But these are from Better Homes and Garden. It does have the little rubber or silicone grip. So it grips into the base like that, but I love these. They're just so cute. And the fact that they are so affordable, I didn't feel bad about having an extra set of glasses. Speaking of switching up, I am also always changing these baskets out and decided to move this one over. This is one of my favorites. And I actually found this one recently that I love as well. It does come in two different sizes, but it definitely is not big enough to store as this one is. So this one's from Home Goods. This one, they have a similar one at World Market and the container store, so I can link them for you. But I love the texture and the contrast of the two colors and all of the dimension it gives with the different textures of fabric that are used. Um, and woven throughout the basket. So really, really good idea to kind of incorporate a little bit of a decor look to something that is functional that you use every day. And like I said, I do have so many blankets. I needed two different baskets to store them. I also wanted to share with you guys some newer finds and things that I've made as far as bags go. I am loving the Hobby Lobby Paper Studio. They have so many good stick on stickers or badges, whatever you want to call them. 
but I did make this a while ago and I love these bags from Amazon for travel, for every day, for the car, you name it. There's so many uses for them, especially when you have a baby. I also found this one at Hobby Lobby with the same exact sticker that actually sticks on really well. This one has pearls and it's a little bow. I think it's so precious. And then I made this one from Hobby Lobby as well with Mama and Minnie, two different bags with the black on black checkered. And then my most recent find were these amazing ones that are um, in store. They're not online yet from Target. I think I'm going to use these in the car. They do come in this color, a really dark chocolate brown and then a black. And it comes with two of them for 15 bucks. But I will link all of these goodies for you. And let me know if you guys are into DIYing little purses and bags for yourself. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I will leave everything listed in the description box down below. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.